Hi, my name is David Hageman. I'm here at uh, Vanderbilt University Medical Center. Uh, I'm in the Division of Allergy, Pulmonary, and Critical Care. And in conjunction with Michael Vaese and Galen Garrett, I'm uh, going to describe our study, Proton Pump Inhibitor Therapy uh, Improves Symptoms of Postnasal Drainage. As a group, do a great deal of, of chronic cough. And, and absolutely, we feel that, that reflux uh, plays a big role in, in chronic cough. So we became interested to see if uh, uh, there was a, a role for allergic or for uh, uh, reflux disease in uh, uh, in postnasal drainage. Looking at uh, the literature, uh, we, we'd seen several observational studies about a link between uh, gastroesophageal reflux disease and postnasal drainage, but to date there had been no placebo-controlled studies uh, to see if acid suppression really had an effect uh, in this disorder. So. Um, our, our aim was to see if, if uh, giving these folks uh, enough uh, PPI over time uh, would make a difference, you know, not so much in their stomach symptoms, but in their nasal symptoms. And uh, you know, believe me, this is a fairly difficult uh, uh, thing to explain to patients, that there's a link between their stomach and, and their nose. But um, <clears throat> that, that was our aim, to see if, if treating the stomach would help uh, nasal symptoms. And, and also to see if there were any symptoms or any uh, pH probes or impedance study, anything like that, that would, would help clue in who might have this disorder. Patient uh, selection was really important in our study. We went to great lengths to make sure we weren't trying to treat allergic rhinitis or sinus infections with proton pump inhibitors. So our exclusion criteria was very important. Um, these patients were not allergic. They did not have sinus infections. And I think that that pure patient population was uh, uh, key to make sure that we were looking at, at just the, the right group of patients. Once the patients were selected, there was a uh, two to four week uh, run-in period, during which time um, the, uh, both impedance and pH monitoring uh, was done off uh, PPIs. Uh, in addition, the, the three um, uh, quality of life measures were, were done, um, and then those were repeated, uh, all, all those things were repeated at both the two and the, and the four month uh, time period. The results were uh, were interesting in that there was a significant difference at both the two and the four month um, in the the, um, the specifically in the SNOT uh, 20, which is a uh, validated uh, sinus nasal outcome test of 20 very specific questions about uh, sinus and nasal um, disease that that showed a significant difference between those treated with uh, twice a day uh, PPIs versus those that, that, that were uh, given placebo. So this is a uh, global symptom response um, depiction of the significant uh, difference between Lansoprazole um, group in the medium symptom improvement percentage on the left hand side. Um, as you can see, um, much much different compared to placebo at both the two month and the four month uh, time time point. That our secondary aims uh, were not positive, and so we, we were unable to identify any symptom or a, a pH monitoring or impedance monitoring that determined who uh, who would get better with this medication and who would not. So there was no difference between the two groups. Uh, in, in any of those. And, and so, uh, in summary, uh, this is the first placebo-controlled uh, trial of uh, uh, PPI therapy that shows improvement in uh, postnasal drainage uh, uh, symptoms. So uh, I think this is um, an important uh, study, uh, one that, that certainly has changed the way that we, we practice. Uh, we now uh, know that, that symptoms aren't going to tip us in, uh, tip us off as to who may have uh, postnasal drainage or rhinitis induced drainage. Um, we also know that a, a two month uh, uh, trial of twice daily uh, PPIs is as good as a four month trial and, and we routinely will do that uh, to see if we can show improvement in nasal symptoms after uh, treatment of, uh, of gastroesophageal reflux disease. Uh, thank you.